Hi, this is John with Black Flag Armory in Medford, Oregon. Today we're going to be comparing two of our most popular suppressors, the Dead Air Sandman K and the Dead Air Sandman S. We're going to test these out on a couple of common configurations. For 5.56, five, I'm going to be shooting a 10 inch AR and we're going to check both of them with supersonic ammunition. For 300 blackout, we're going to be using an 8 inch AR with subsonic ammunition, checking out how both of these perform in that setup as well. So first up, we're going to be shooting a 10 inch AR 556. This is a build out of the custom shop over at Black Flag with Cerakote done by our applicator, Sam. So let's shoot this thing unsuppressed with the K and then with the S on it. All right, next up, we're going to be using the Dead Air Sandman K. All right, now let's check out the Dead Air Sandman S on this thing and see what kind of difference we get. All right, next up, we're gonna shoot this Noveski Ghetto Blaster in 300 blackout with a 7.94 inch barrel. We're gonna do this thing unsuppressed, then with the K and then with the S on it. So let's see how it does. All right, next up, let's mount the Dead Air Sandman K and see how this thing sounds with subsonic 300 blackout. All right, now let's see how this thing sounds with the Sandman S mounted. So as you can see, these are some pretty effective cans. On 300 blackout shooting subs, obviously these things are almost movie quiet. You can definitely hear a little bit of difference between the S and the K, but you're giving up a little bit of weight for the S. It's a slightly longer can, and you're giving up a tiny bit of suppression or at least a different sound signature with the K, which is a little bit shorter, a little bit lighter. Another option from Dead Air is also the Sandman L, which is going to be a little bit longer than the S even. Overall, great cans, even on short barreled guns, they run super well. These things are a blast to shoot and make shooting more pleasant, more fun, and much less intimidating to new shooters. It's a great tool to have and it's something that I definitely recommend. 